to talk about, I'm going to talk about jailhouse conversation. And this came up after, uh, after I've listened to conversations, um, with Cheryl, Shirley Strawberry, that's, uh, Steve Harvey's assistant, co-worker, with her husband, Ernesto, who has been jailed since last year, June or July, uh, Conversations were released to the public. Well, I well was leaked to the public, and you know how that is. I don't believe that. I think these were purposefully leaked because it was it wasn't like a one time thing. It was it was many conversations that she was having with her, with her with her uh, you know her her estranged husband. He's been locked up uh, for fraud charges and other things um, since last year. He was you know a year now. He's been locked up. But on one of the conversations, um, or one of, or, or, or in a couple of the conversations, she was heard talking about Steve. I'll, I'll, I'll play an apology, an apology video that she did on her um, Cheryl Strawberry. So if you don't know who Shirley, I keep saying Cheryl Strawberry. If you don't know who Shirley Strawberry is, she's she does Strawberry Letter on the Steve Harvey Morning Show, and everybody knows Steve Harvey. But if you don't know Steve Harvey, you can look him up. He's a, a popular public figure um, on TV, he, he had his own talk show. I believe he still has a talk show going. He's married to Marjorie Harvey. Uh, she's a socialite, um, very popular, very, very, very public figure, both of them. So they're well known. And, you know, Steve's been around for a long time. And Shirley uh, Strawberry is his assistant co-worker. He, she's, um, Steve is her boss, basically. They've been together. They've worked together for a long time. So they have a, a very close relationship. But anyway... She was married um, to a, a guy that was supposed to be prominent or, or you know, somebody that's, I, I think, uh, more on a, a, he's a business savvy person she married, but now he's caught up in a lot of um, fraud stuff, white collar stuff. And apparently um, his, his, his past was exposed as being a fraudster. And um, so she's been trending on, on social media uh, the conversations that she had with her, um, ex while, you know, jailhouse conversations. That's what I'm calling this topic. Jailhouse conversations. They're all over the internet. And I want to talk about as much as they say jailhouse conversations, there's a warning that they give to inmate that their conversations are recorded. So they should be careful. The conversation between attorney and client, those are not recorded. I don't believe those conversations are recorded. It's just conversations that takes place between uh, the prisoner and uh, other people other than attorney. And it also states that when I look it up that those conversations are not privy to the public. Whatever conversations um, they have are not, that takes place between inmate and, and, and whoever. They're not privy to the public. But for some reason, somebody leaked these conversations, which I don't think it's right. Now, they always say leak. Now, who, you know, in the prison, there is somebody that's responsible for, the, for, for recording the, the, the conversation. And, and to me, if, 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 if they need to go look into it and find out who leaked to those conversations, because it's not just one conversation, it's many conversations that were leaked, right? Uh, she had numerous conversations last year with her estranged husband, and they were leaked to the public. And um, I kind of uh, feel sorry for her because... In those conversations, she was pouring her heart out. You could tell she was poor. You could tell that she was she she is or was very much in love with her husband. And um, when when it came out or what, what when it all came out, of, you know, it, it was kind of a hush hush. She didn't want to address the issue. She mentioned in the the conversations that she didn't like anyone asking about him or asking what is she gonna do or giving her any advice as far as what she should do with her husband. And I can understand that because you people, you don't know what it is to truly love someone. It doesn't matter what that person does. Love when the heart, the heart knows what the heart wants and it doesn't matter what the person did or done, right? So Charlotte, uh, Shirley Strawberry is somebody that gives, does a strawberry letter and she gives advice and her advice has been very good, but um, people are now saying that she should take her own advice and, and, and leave him. But According to the conversations, she was bearing her her soul out. She is very much in love with her husband, and 
I can't knock her once again because no, no one, unless you, you're truly in love, when, when you're truly in love with someone, it doesn't matter what that person does, right? She mentioned in one of the conversations that he has never done anything bad to her. She believes that whatever he did was in the past, but it's coming forth, <clears throat> and that's what they're judging him on, not judging him based on um, past, what he did in the past. And, and so she has no qualms with him because... You know, he's never treated her bad. He's always treated her good. Um, so she's not trying to hear it when people tell her she needs to take her own advice and then leave him. Now, um, one of the other conversations, she talked about how they, they're coming after her, uh, I guess because of the fraud stuff involving money and so forth. They're coming after her and taking her stuff away from her. And she's being left with nothing. I don't know if she lost houses, lost a house or a vehicle or whatever it is. Uh, it was very pitiful. And, and my heart kind of broke when I, as a woman hearing her talk because I know deep down she really loves that man, right? So in one of the conversations that was leaked, um, Shirley was heard um, talking about Steve and Marjorie Harvey. And she mentioned not one of those conversations. Throughout the conversations, she mentioned she spoke about Steve and Marjorie. So um, here I'm going to um, play a short clip, a video clip of her apologizing She's finally addressing the issue. She's never really spoken about him being locked up. That's her husband being locked up. And um, she addressed the, the issue on her Strawberry Letter show where she also apologized to Steve and Marjorie for certain things that she said while conversating with her husband from jail. I'm going to just start by saying that um, my estranged husband is in jail. Um, he's been in jail for over a year, uh, since about the, right after the 4th of July of 2022. And recently some, um, phone calls from last year between he and I were leaked. And, uh, on those calls, you hear me saying, um, you were winded going up the stairs at your home. And, um, Marjorie looks at us as the help and right here and now, um, I want to apologize to you and Marjorie for what I said. Um, as much as I wish I could, I can't take it back. I can't. I said it, and you know, I want to apologize. 